Hi y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and we're here today because we're making another porch sign. And this time we're making it so we can use it all year and for a specific holiday. So let's get started and see what it's going to be. It's going to be inspiration drawn from these two porch signs. One's popping up here and one's popping up here. So here's the ones we're going to be drawing our inspiration from and let's get to the craft desk and get started. Let's go. We're going to make our version of this. So what I did is or what I'm doing is I'm going to what I'm doing. I haven't done it yet. Got to do it. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to do is take four signs like this. We don't need to do anything to this side. Hey, how about that? We're just going to flip them over. And what we're going to do is any tags that are on the back, we want to take them off. We want to remove these strings and tags. Okay. And then we're going to need four of these. We're going to need two yardsticks. Now these yardsticks are only 98 cents at Lowe's and they work great for projects. So get you a yardstick. Get you two yardsticks for this one. Okay, and what we're making is this high-end sign right here. And we're gonna take these, clean them up, fill in all our holes like we did on this video. Okay, and then we're gonna take and staple these or glue these to our yardstick. Okay, what you see here is where I took the two of the four signs, put them down and then laid the yardsticks down on them and stapled them to the yardsticks. And then I laid the other two signs on top of them and stapled them down to the top of the yardsticks. And then what I did is filled in all the gaps and spaces and holes with spackling. And then when you get done, what you have is this. So see how tall that sign is? This sign is taller than a yardstick and we're gonna turn it into that high-end sign we just saw. So what I did here, what you're seeing here is where I put, I stapled, I put my yardsticks in here, put one on that side and I put one on this side, okay? And put it down in there and you notice they didn't come all the way to the end. So I staggered one, I've started one here and went up to here and then on the other side I started up here and went down to right about there okay so then I took my spackling and if you don't know what our spackling looks like it's this right here okay so I took that spackling and these had little stickers on the back of them and I couldn't get them off so I don't want the writing to show through so I just took my spackling and skimmed it on there with my little card right here just like I do when I'm filling the holes these are the holes we filled in down here this is where my staples are so I spackled that and then you want to make sure you get right in here in this crack because we don't want that crack to show and we're gonna skim that with our little card and then we're gonna sand it down and that's what I've done on this project right here on this one so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this sign and I'm going to put a base coat of white paint on here and I'm going to come in here with my white and touch this up as well on both sides. Okay. Now, if you noticed, if I separate that, I did not paint over those signs inside there. So I want to make sure I come around here and get these edges good. And we did this two sided because we're gonna put something on the other side. And let me get this painted with a base coat and we'll be right back. Okay, here I am, I'm just putting on the base coat. It took about two coats to get it to look like I wanted it to look like. And that's it. Okay, remember these sticks that we just pulled off of uh, one of our other signs? our other projects that had these signs on it and I told you to save them for another project okay so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna take those sticks and we're gonna measure in we're gonna measure in 
five and a half inches and mark it and we're going to measure five and a half inches on this one and mark it and what I did is I measured my sign that we're going to put these on and we need four four of these for this project okay and so I got to measure another five and a half inches over and make a mark and I'm going to put a little X on this because I want to cut to this side of my five and a half inches and I'm going to mark this one at five and a half inches and I'm going to put an X on this one as well because that will let me know that I want to cut to this side of that line because when you're cutting something you have to account for the blade okay so let me go ahead and make my line all the way across my two pieces I'll get them lined up so my lines line up and then I'm going to make a line all the way across those two pieces here and here and it's okay if we cut them a little bit big because we're going to need them bigger for the um, if they're too big we can cut them down but if they're too small we can't okay so now I'm gonna go take these and cut them with my jigsaw and when I get done I'll be right back okay you guys the sticks we had left over from our project that we didn't cut the the uh, little short ones from we're gonna take those and we are going to put them in here where the rest of our yardstick is and finish completing the rest of that sign all the way up and then any excess at the top we'll just we'll trim this off up here this is still kind of wet but there's a piece sticking out up here we'll just cut that off with the uh, jigsaw or with a razor knife and that way and we'll glue these in that way there's more stability in our sign all the way through so let me keep painting and i'll be back okay the next thing you're going to need for this project is you're going to need 11 of these wide uh one inch popsicle sticks and if you didn't Okay, I'm taking my popsicle sticks and what I'm doing is laying them out and trying to figure out how wide I want my letters to be. And what I'm doing here is laying out the letter E for the word home. And I'm seeing how long my popsicle sticks are and then I'm going to make it four and five eighths inch wide. And that's how I'm going to make my letters and I'm going to go through and show you each of the letters. And what I'm showing you there is that I'm going to clip and trim those off so that they match up directly to that popsicle stick I just had. And I'm showing you that I'm going to use the gather sign as my letter O, so I don't have to worry about the O, but I ended up not using that O, that gather sign for the O. I ended up using the white and green garland of berries that... Uh, Dollar Tree has and so I'm just continuing on here laying out all the different letters and marking them up and figuring out how big I want them okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint my sticks for my sign and how I'm gonna paint these is I only need to paint one side and to make sure the sides are covered so what I'm gonna do is I put down some chocolate and some tan color paint and i'm going to take my brush and dip it in and then come back to this side dip it in and what i'm doing is i'm loading i'm dipping it in and i'm loading up my brush and i'm keeping the dark color to one side and the light color to the other so i'm going to start painting my popsicle stick. I'm going to start up here at the top and curve around and go down. Now that tan doesn't really show up that good but it will when we start blending because it's almost the same color as the popsicle stick. 
So I picked up more paint and I'm going to come back up here to the top. You kind of got to hold these with your, your fingernail. Come back up to the top, go all the way to the bottom, and then come back up just like that. Okay, and that's what we should have. Now this side of the stick is actually tan and we just can't tell it just yet. But hold on. And this will give us, show us which way the shadow is casting on our sign when we do this. The lighter side is the side where the light's coming in. And I'm just keep going down my popsicle stick until I get the whole thing painted and blend all of that in. And I'm keeping the dark color to the outside of the stick. And I'm going to paint all my sticks the same way until I get them all painted. And I'm running over that edge so that it will um, cover the edge of my popsicle stick because I don't want that to be showing. And I'm going to take and turn my brush over here and make sure I catch the edge of this popsicle stick. You want to make sure that you're doing the color that's on the outside of the popsicle stick. In other words, this side I'm going to do with the chocolate. This side I'll flip my brush over and run down and catch that side with the lighter color um, paint. And you see where I'm just letting my paint brush ride on the outside of that? That's because I'm running that tan color down through there. Now that we've got some paint on there, I'm going to come back in and lighten this side up just a little bit more by painting that in just like that. And voila, we have one part of our letter done. Now we'll finish the rest of our letters. This is the H, so that's the, the center, the edge part. Now the next edge that will be over here, this side gets painted chocolate. So if you paint the outside chocolate over here, you want to paint the, the outside over here chocolate just like you did this one. Okay, and then when we put this one on top, we're going to paint that highlight towards the bottom of the letter. Okay, so I'm going to do all these sticks and then I'll be right back. Okay, this is our double sided sign. We have taken and painted this side and get it all the way in the camera for you. We have taken this side and we have painted it white. This side we painted red because this is going to be our double sided sign for the year. This side is going to have one design on it and this side is going to have Christmas. So what are we going to do next? Next we are going to take our little sign and we're going to lay it out. You want to make sure you paint your ends. I've got to go back and touch this up. I didn't do that. So what I'm going to do is put this I'm going to put a box or something under it so y'all can see what I'm doing okay and what I'm going to do is I've got my two little boards here that I have already painted brown and drilled my little holes in now I'm going to measure down two and a half inches and yes we have to measure on this Okay, we're going to measure down two and a half inches and we're going to take a pencil and we're going to mark that little line and then we're going to make another one over here at two and a half inches. We're going to measure two and a half inches down here at this end too. Now the reason why you have to do two little marks is because if you put your board on there with one mark, like, like if you put your board on there with one mark, you could get it cockeyed on there and we don't want that it's just these little screws that I had extra of and I'm going to use a washer and I'm going to take the screw sit it through the washer and then I'm going to take it and set it on my board and I'm going to start screwing that little screw down the washer is going to fall down but that's okay and we're going to set these other two right here because they're for the bottom 
and then because of the type of head my screw has I can't use my drill but I can use a little ratchet and it's righty tighty lefty loosey okay and this is how you'll want to hold that screw when you go if you just try to screw like this you're just gonna and it's not grabbing yet it's just gonna go everywhere on you so kind of hold that screw until it takes a bite into your wood and you want to make sure that you're still staying lined up on your mark because when you're using these uh, screws it could take and move that little board on you and then I'm going to come over here and start on the other side and start screwing that down I generally use screws that have the Phillips head and if you don't know what a Phillips head screw is it's one that has a little head on it just like that and it looks like a little cross okay and I generally use screws like that but I didn't have any that were short enough and I use like to use stuff that's in my stash so that I can all right now you see me stopping and the reason why I'm stopping is because where I held this down on my board see my little screws are coming out it's marked the board where where this the screws are gonna go in here so I'm gonna make sure it's still lined up get a good mark on this side and you could keep screwing this in until that goes in but it's easier just to take your drill bit and go ahead and start that screw Don't go all the way through. Just take it, line it up on your little dot, and get it started. And press those screws in. And I'm going to put my little socket on there. voila we have our first little board on and isn't that cute it's gonna be even cuter when it's finished so let me do the other end and I'll be right back now what we're gonna get ready to do is we've got some letters here and I'm gonna leave this kind of sitting like this so y'all can see what I'm gonna do okay on my Cricut I cut out some letters for the Christmas side of it and I cut out letters for this side of it now the ones that's gonna on this side is gonna say so good to be and then we're gonna spell out the word home so I've already set up my stickers to put them on here so I'm gonna take them off that and I'm gonna take and line those up right here right underneath that and then I'm going to take my spatula. What did I do with my spatula? I know I have it. Here it is. This came from the Dollar Tree. Just a Betty Crocker spatula. And I'm going to rub that in really good. And I'm going to make sure it's adhered to my board really good. And then I'm going to take and 
peel off the backy. And this is just regular contact paper that I used for the lettering. And this is clear contact paper that I'm using to put this on. And this is, and if you get one that doesn't go on, just take it and rub it a little bit and then pull it off. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my letters and I'm gonna go over them one more time and make sure they're nice and stuck to my sign. And rub that in, rub that in, and any corners that might be up, I'm gonna make sure that they're down and I'm gonna just take my spatula and go over them. And that is made out of the wood grain contact paper that you get from the Dollar Tree. It's a great deal. I cut it out on my Cricut. Now these can be painted on here, but I chose to cut these out with the Cricut this time. Now I'm gonna take and add my word home that I'm making. And I took the popsicle sticks. Remember I told you you need a popsicle sticks? I took the popsicle sticks and I cut out the letters. I painted them and cut the letters. So this is one side of my H and what I'm doing is I'm lining it up with my outside of my letter, but I'm gonna stick this one here because I know I've pre-measured these and I wanna make sure that I'm getting them centered. And that's where I want that to go. So I know this one's gonna go here. So I'm gonna just make a little dot right there. Okay. And then I'm gonna take, put a little bit of glue along the back of my popsicle stick. And I should probably should be putting wood glue on there too. And you wanna make sure that you got this level. Okay. And I'm just eyeballing it. And then I'm gonna put my two sticks on the outside. Now when you put your sticks on, make sure that you're putting your highlighted side to the same side on both sticks, okay? And I need to check my letter E to see. My letter E has the highlight going to the outside, so I wanna make sure my highlight on all my letters is going to the outside, okay? And then this one will go to the inside. What I continue doing here is hot gluing all the letters down as I get to them. I'll put the H on first, and then I'll go through and go down and put my letter E on and my O I put in there and I'll just continue to work on getting all my letters equally spaced out side to side and top to bottom. That's what I'm showing you here is that you want to make sure you have equal spaces on the sides as well as top to bottom when you put each one of these letters on. And I'll just work my way on down till I get to the letter E and home. And then I'm going to take that uh, wreath garland and make my letter O. And you'll see me do that here in just a second. And I'll put that down. There's my letter O right there. And I'm putting it down. And then I'll just go through and put in hot glue all my other letters down. Okay, so I've got all my letters placed on my sign. Only the H is taken and glued down so I need to glue down the E and the M and then I need to glue down my little letter O which is just some of the Dollar Tree uh, vine and so now I'm going to do that and and there we have the first side of our sign done it says so good to be home yes and then that just beautiful Okay, now we're gonna work on the other side. Now the other side is gonna be Christmas. 
and it's going to say let it snow so I already have all my letters right here that I cut out with my Cricut and now we have to be just a little bit more careful and laying our sign down now this is the top so we want to make sure that we keep the top at everything at the top at the top and everything at the bottom at the bottom so what I did is I cut two pieces of ribbon at six inches and then what I did is I folded the edges in right here and because this is wired ribbon the um, tops hold really good and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that and glue one at the top and I'm going to put one at the bottom and then when I get done with that I'll be right back okay so what we have so far is we have our top glued on and our top is not all the way glued down right here because we're going to add some more stuff to the top in just a minute and then we have the bottom that's glued down on all the way around okay so now we're going to start with our letters and the first thing that goes on our sign is let it snow let it so we've got to put that on there and I've already got these letters cut out from my Cricut just like I did for the other side okay I'm adding the let it to my board and I want it to be cockeyed so I'm taking it back off and I'm going to adjust it and I'm making sure it's even side to side then I'm going to take and put on my letter S and you'll see I put it on the upside down and then I'll have to take it off and turn it up the right side up in just a minute you'll see me doing that and then I just went continuously all the way down my sign adding each of my letters to the word snow until I get them all on there and evenly spaced side to side and top to bottom and I did cut these out on my Cricut um, if y'all are wondering where I got them from and we are looking into being able to offer these for y'all on our website so be looking for that to come soon uh, on our website and that is www.craftyartshack.com okay we've got all of our letters down now and we are going to come back up here to the top of our sign and we're going to take this little sprig that we made up and we're going to stick it right up here on the top of our sign so we're going to hot glue that down i'm going to put plenty of hot glue on the back of it in a lot of different places and then we're going to stick it up here just like this and hold it and then we're going to remove our little strings and then any other places we're going to have to glue down and look how look how adorable that is now when you glue this down you don't want it hanging over your edges because remember this is a two-sided sign, one for the season and one for um, the rest of the year. So this is what our little sign looks like on the Christmas side. And isn't that just adorable? And then here is our all year sign that says home. And I think that turned out pretty good. All right, y'all, that's it for this episode of the Crafty Art Shack. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next episode when we're making another craft for the home or doing something. Who knows what we're doing, but we'll look forward to seeing you again here at the Crafty Art Shack. Have a great day and bye. So you can see them both because they're not there. Yeah. <laughs> I messed it up. Let me try that. I'm happy I'm checking. We're here today because we're going to turn these Halloween signs into... <laughs> we're going to turn these Halloween signs into a beautiful sign like this. A mess.
messed up my letter M somehow. I'm not putting it back down the same way. Hold on. I gotta figure this out. And we'll be able to use it for the holidays as well as all year long. How about that? That is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to use it in some of my front porch. So, okay. so if you like this, is I'll just mess it up. So, we hope you like and subscribe to our videos, and we'll look forward to seeing you again here at the Crafty Art Shop. We'll see you later. Bye.